a wee hours of the morning here and I did a healing on myself the other night. And as usual, I get caught up in the snag of the release. And I've been doing this since, I've been doing vortex healings on myself since 2001. And I do this healing on myself last night and the next day I'm feeling ungrounded from the healing, ne needing to integrate. Things are coming up, this all is expected, but when the release happens, I just get caught up in my thoughts and I'm like, oh, what am I doing? I do, I'm all this doubt and I don't know if I can do it. And all that re release is coming up and that you get caught in it. You get caught up in all those negative thinking that's, you know, attached to trauma or unresolved emotional issues and you believe it in the moment. I mean, like I said, I've been doing this since 2001 and I still get lost within that healing release. And there are a lot of people out there who are doing a lot of healing. They are working very hard and at times they feel like they're lost. And it's a very painful process because there are a lot of waves of of pain that needs to be released. It comes in layers. And when you're in the middle of that wave that's being released, it's, it's, it's a terrible feeling. Trauma coming up, anxiety, doubt, powerlessness, whatever that feels like, you believe it while it's happening. And it still happens to me. I mean, there are times I'm like, oh, I consider myself a pro. I'm a vortex healer. I've been doing this to other people. I've been doing this on myself. But this is healing. And we are all going through it. For those who are at the very beginning and are those who consider themselves to be healing pros who, who have done tons of healing on themselves. And that's the time where you have to just take a breath and have faith in the process that you're going higher despite the pain that you're feeling. Because if you know you're on the healing path, have faith to see through the fog of that pain. It will pass. And blessings.